Hi, I'm John Cangelosi. And I'm Robbie Burr, and we're hurricane specialists at NOAA's National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. Let's say a hurricane is threatening your city. What's the first picture your TV meteorologist might put on the screen? It's probably a hurricane cone showing where the storm may go. Some people affectionately call it the cone of concern, or even the cone of death. But all kidding aside, the National Hurricane Center creates a cone to communicate the possibilities of where the storm may go. And even though this graphic is very popular, we've also found that it is often misunderstood and used in ways that it was never meant for. So let's take a look at the forecast cone and what it is intended to convey. Here is an example of the NHC forecast cone. The cone represents the probable track of just the center of the storm. Let's repeat that, just the center. We draw the cone based on how good or bad our forecasts have been over the past five years. The center of the storm ends up staying inside the cone for roughly two out of every three of our forecasts. This also means that the center of the storm will sometimes move outside of the cone, occurring once out of every three of our forecasts. With the knowledge of how it's designed, let's take a look at the do's and don'ts when using the NHC forecast cone. But let's start with the don'ts. Hazards associated with a storm usually extend beyond the edge of the cone. So don't use the cone to assess your risk of strong winds, storm surge, heavy rainfall, or tornadoes. And since we prepare for a storm or evacuate based on these hazards, don't use the cone to determine if you should evacuate or how you should prepare. For that type of information, be sure to listen to your local emergency management agency. Now, what should you use the cone for? I use the cone to get a rough idea of where the center of the tropical cyclone is likely to go. But I then look at other forecast graphics to get more specific information about strong winds, storm surge, rainfall, and tornadoes. You can look at the forecast cone to see how big the storm is at the moment and where coastal wind watches and warnings are currently in effect. The forecast cone can be a useful tool when you're monitoring the progress of a hurricane. But it's important to keep in mind what you should and should not use it for. Probably the most important point is that a hurricane is not a point. Impacts from the storm often occur well outside of the cone, and it's a good idea to consult other forecast graphics when preparing before a storm. These graphics can be accessed by clicking on the appropriate thumbnail within the storm window box on the front page of the National Hurricane Center website. We hope that the next time you see the National Hurricane Center forecast cone, you have a better understanding of what it truly means. For the latest information on tropical weather, please visit hurricanes.gov. And you can also follow us on the social media platforms listed here. Thanks for watching. Remember, it only takes one, so be safe by being prepared for hurricane season.